Today we're going to go over the audio configuration GUI, which is located in the control panel. The audio configuration GUI is the template mapping of the audio on the server. This goes for the DCP 2000s, the DCP 2K4s, and also the show vaults. Double click on it, enter in your password, press OK. Now by default, the template mapping is going to be disabled. This means however your audio wire is pinned out, that's how the audio is going to transfer to the audio processor. Now, that doesn't mean that we can't change the mapping. To do so, drop down the menu, select the desired mapping, and it'll explain exactly what channels belongs to uh, which speakers. So for example, channel 1 is your left, channel 2 is your right speaker, channel 3 is your center, and so forth and so on. Now let's say that your right rear surround and your left rear surround are actually on channel 7 and 8. As you can see, this is designated for HI and VI. To move these channels to 15 and 16, because those are not taken, we're going to go ahead and click on the Browse button, select Hearing Impaired for channel 15, Browse again, select VI for channel 16, and then we're going to go ahead and save. Now once you save the configuration, you have to eject the current show playlist and reload it for the changes to take effect. Then we're going to change channel 7 to left rear surround and then right rear surround we're going to go ahead and save the changes again and there you go so now your channel 7 and 8 is left rear surround and right rear surround in the audio configuration GUI we also have an advanced tab this advanced tab is responsible for your audio delay by default uh, the audio delay that we set out of the factory is 80 milliseconds which is roughly two frame delay this accounts for the two frame delay out of the projector to adjust the delay, you can move the bar to the left or to the right, depending on which kind of delay you're looking for. Go ahead and save your settings. Again, if you have a show playlist that's currently loaded, you're going to have to eject it and reload it for the changes to take effect.